Hey, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of make um, Sanchez uh, a text. Um, I've already animated it. I have tutorials on me doing 3D animation because we have to do it separately. Um, so you have to get your animation ready before you add any textures or anything because it's just easier that way. Um, and then also at the top here you should click on, like right click it and then press switch to 3D render or composite or whatever it says. I've already switched so it's telling me to switch to 2D which I'm not going to do because you want it 3D not 2D. So when you have your animation you should have each letter animated like perfectly fine and now you're basically going to duplicate every single letter so it's underneath like this and then you're going to make sure you're on metallic textures the materials and then what you're basically going to do is on every first letter if it's fine there we go on every first letter you're going to change it to border style which is just outline which is down here you're going to do this for every single one okay and now for the first letter we're going to be going to chrome which is down here and then you're just gonna add chrome to every first letter go to images like down there to images then there should be a texture pack in the description um, which you will use so you're gonna go to basic 2k underscore 2k that's also in this folder you can go to either one so I'm just going to go to this one and you're going to add that on every first letter. Try not to get confused. Okay. Now that we've done that, on every first letter we're going to go to Extrusion, which is up here, and then we're going to up the bevel amount for each one. So you can already kind of see the resemblance already. Okay, and now we're going to go to the second letters and again add chrome, but this time we're going to add a different texture to make it like a dark reflective. So I went to image file, textures, and then I basically I took one of the textures from one of these folders and blurred it because this was quite dark, but I still wanted it, wanted it to be reflective. So I took this image 83 here um blurred it so it's still reflective but it's also kind of quite dark so i'm gonna add that on everything and every single one And there we go. So this is how it looks like just on its own. I feel like the U I probably um, did a bit too much tilt on this because you can barely see the colour. So I'm just going to turn it over a bit. So minus 10.07 do the same value on the U. Ten oh seven oh seven. Okay, it's just going straight to ten. That's fine. Right. Okay, that looks a lot better and more reflective. And before we like go out of this, we're going to go onto the whole scene here, go all the way to the end, and we're going to go to lights. 
what we're going to do is just play around with what the light looks like. But we're also just going to place it where we like it first, and then we're going to play around with the distance. Because it's far away, the lighting won't really affect the text. But if we bring it closer, and even behind, like right now it's kind of behind the text. But I want it to at least create some contrast within the text. So this looks good. And then I'm just gonna like drag it across. Maybe. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna animate it here. And then bring it across. So it's not really being affected right now. So, yeah, this looks okay. Now we're going to press apply. Um, so this, how it, this is how it looks without any kind of colouring or glow. So I'm just going to... I've already, like, time remapped it with Twixter. So it at least moves nicely. I'm just going to pre-render that. So this is how it just looks without anything on it, which I think it looks okay so far. So now um, we're going to add Ignite Super Glow, so it lights up the edges and it will probably light up some of this, but actually first I'm going to go to BCC Title Studio, go to Composite, and I'm just going to up the contrast a bit, so it's not as like um bright add super glow and I mainly want the glow to kind of be on the edges But obviously it's a, it's a lot on this letter here, so I want to see if I can go to transformations, you just turn it on, and position Z, position it so the lighting will make it darker, no, let's make it brighter. I guess that one's just kind of meant to be bright, that's fine. Anyway, going to add um, Tritone. I don't always add this, but it's worth checking just because it does add a nice effect sometimes. Um. I want this like keep this white and you can change the black color that usually looks horrible so best not to do that I suppose and you can obviously use this to change the color but I think just for now a nice white white color would look fine Or you can mix it with the original so it's like only tinted that way. I'm gonna add BCC Multistar. Put it behind the um, Ignite Super Glow. Lower the brightness, size. So it kind of adds like um, a glint.
remember adding something before. This is just a test, but you could try adding texture flux. I haven't tried adding this adding this yet, so this is experimental right now. Play. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Maybe not. It's worth a go though. This is basically kind of the gist of how I would personally make it. I think the texture is a bit off. Um, so it's really just about testing textures. If you want to make a light go over the text, you can use BCC light sweep like this. You go to the default setting. Make sure it's behind um, all the effects ex except for the one that you use to time remap the text. Change the direction to however much you want it to be and then you can make it crossover so location and just drag it over But that is, of course, if you wanted to add that. So, yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found this useful. Goodbye.